guys, it's John here. I am what is up, guys? It is John, and welcome back to another Director's Cut. It's been a minute. But this video is a special one for me. Uh, first of all, I miss that truck. That was that was a pretty sweet truck. But anyways, this was the first time I got to collaborate with somebody. And you're about to see that somebody here in just a moment. Um, it was very exciting for me at the time. We both were small channels. Hey, look there. It's the carpet bagger. And we are at the old Morristown College. Now, we were the first and last ones to ever film here. I mean, probably less than a month after we filmed this, they came and tore this whole place down. It is now completely gone. You can see, you'll see throughout this. I mean, this is a 30 minute video. There's a lot here. But guys, you'll have to forgive the video because this is very early on. And I'm not even holding the darn camera straight. <laughs> I had just gotten a new camera. And it was a Nikon, I can't remember. I still got it, but it uh, it did not do very good in low light, nor did it have very good stability. So here, I, I never, I still hadn't learned how to like pan slowly or or not move so fast. And I hadn't figured out how to like look through the lens, like look through the camera, see everything through the camera, if that makes sense. Um. Man, I wish these buildings were still here, but they're they're gone. I'd love to have went back and actually filmed there and, and even done some paranormal stuff there because that place was said to be super haunted. Um, just a little history on Morristown College. It was built in 1881. Well, it started in 1881, uh, not long after the Civil War. And this was one of the first, I think it was the first, African American college, you know, for higher learning in the South. Um, so it's a lot, ton of history here. A lot of notable people went here. Um, I highly recommend if you have not seen the original video. It's actually a two-parter. Um, you know, the links to both will be down in the description. I highly recommend going and watch them. Yeah, this is where. So, didn't even get very far in the video and my batteries died so I had to start over for some reason I started filming all over again but uh, but first of all I'll just say you know, this is the first time I got to film with the carpet bagger and it was really cool it was really neat getting to meet him and uh, we've actually developed a pretty good friendship since then uh, which I'm grateful for but uh, hey, this was the first time I ever got to collaborate with anybody and it was super exciting for me. But uh, you'll see, this is the science building we figure out later on. Because I went into this not knowing what buildings were what. And it's pretty obvious when you look in this room, this was the science building. This is. It could have been more than just science. I mean, it could have been a lot of different stuff, but you see a lot of evidence of like science rooms and stuff. And you'll see some burner exhaust here in a little bit. There's a paper laying there. This has been well over two years ago. I can't even read that. <laughs> but the, the last year they had any class was 1993, I believe. So, yeah, again, you have to forgive my camera. It's, it doesn't pick up that great. But... Uh, but yeah, funny story. Oh yeah, look at that. Somebody just like dominoed. That must have been the library. The only thing I can come up with. Um, yeah, we're finding stuff in the drawer. Or no, actually we didn't find anything, but we were looking around inside. But, uh, but yeah, it's crazy to look at this and think, man, wow, I was moving really quick there. You know, looking back and thinking, you know, this is, this is the beginning. Uh, I had about seven, eight hundred subscribers at this time. Um, met, you know, a celebrity to me with Jacob, and uh, we were just running around filming. This is like one of the most exciting explorers I ever had. But uh, yeah, we're getting to the good stuff here pretty soon. You can see where the old chalkboard used to be, and uh, this had to be more of a modern building than. Some of the dormitories, I would think. 
Could be wrong. I mean, that building probably gave me the vibe of something built like in the 30s, if I remember correctly. All these rooms are much the same. Yeah, we both are just kind of rushing through the whole thing. But the place is massive. I mean, this is just one of the many buildings on the property. This is where we go upstairs to check those rooms out. There was, I filmed this wrong. There was a room up here that had like red paint all in it. It said dead inside. I was like, it's the first time I've ever seen anything like that. And I was just like, whoa, that kind of really weirded me out. And I remember this was in like September. Yeah, I hadn't even been doing YouTube that long. This is my first large explorer, I must say. But uh, some of the chalkboard's still there on that one. People signing. But anyways, yeah. That room was really creepy, and I didn't get it in this one. It's in the Carpetbaggers version, if you ever go back and watch his. You see how he just walked right in front of see, there was, You got a little glimpse of it there for a second. You saw like a big look like blood splat on the wall, but it was just paint. And now we're going into some more. Yeah, there's where the exhausts were. The, some, a lot of people said those were for like, for science lab. It's like an exhaust. Vent. An exhaust pipe for something. Now, I remember at the time we didn't know what in the world they were. So I asked you guys, and why do you tell me exactly what they were? I like those old light fixtures up there at the top. Those you don't see those anymore. Teach them how to cook, maybe. Yeah, it's weird seeing all those exhaust pipes just shooting up through the ceiling. And this was some kind of kiln or something like that. Everybody said, not one hundred percent sure, but. It's definitely unusual. That's what I'm wondering. So it had the door you raise and shut. I wonder if they just tore the building down with all these desks and stuff in it or what? I know they tore them down a couple years ago once the city bought that. They're turning this whole property into a big park. And um, it's supposed to be pretty cool. I can't wait to see it. It's not open yet. I think they're still working on it. I was there a couple months ago and to check it out, and yeah, they, they still had it closed off. Must have been like their trophy cases and stuff, because they did have a basketball team. I don't think they had a football team here, but they did have a basketball team. I know Knoxville College, which eventually in the I think in the eighties, Knoxville College bought this. And it was uh, an Oxville College Morristown campus at that point, but originally it was just Morristown College, and it it actually came. It was built in place here before Knoxville College was. Yeah, I tend to agree with and, uh, Jacob on this one. Some sort of science building. Man, my face is really fat there. I mean, I've put some weight back on, but pretty neat building though. I was almost 500 pounds in this video, guys. This looks to be the believe gymnasium. it or not. There's the gymnasium. Now this gets creepy. We, you'll say I'll just I'll just wait till we get to it. We go in to the bottom and uh, yeah, it's it's pretty rough. If you ask me, I don't know if you can even see it that well. We go in this little back room here, and uh, we both kind of freaked out. I heard Jacob was super sketched out here. Where's it at? I'm waiting. There they are. Look at all them crickets. These things are massive. Just huge, massive crickets. Look at that. Oh, they were like ping pong ball sized. And this, guys, this this kills me. I'm sorry for the quality here. This is before I knew I needed lighting and a camera that done better low light. So we're essentially in the basement level. This is like where the locker rooms was and the bathrooms were at the basketball arena. And I think we step into a bathroom. Yep, there we go. There's just old turlet sitting out in the middle of the floor and there's one over against the wall. Yeah, I just had that one flashlight. This is, like I said, this is before I did any, this is my biggest explorer I'd ever done at the time. And uh, was just blown away by the size of this place. I think at the time, me and Jacob both agreed this was the Maybe. biggest explorer any either one of us had ever done. But uh, but it was cool. It, a lot of good memories, and knowing that 
we're the only ones who got any videos out of that place. Like, there's a couple little clips of people in there, but not like full scale explore video. I didn't even know this place existed until a friend of mine that lives in Morristown hit me up and said, "Hey, you need to go here." But, uh, but yeah, one of my favorite parts is when we got to the gym floor, which we're about to get to here in a moment. It's pretty cool. There's a big poster of the last basketball team there, and they're still on it. It's it's pretty neat to see something like that. And this was yeah, this was in September of 2017. Or 16. No, 2016, I think. Yeah, it's definitely 2016. This is like a month into me starting my channel. I'm going to have to go back and go upstairs. See, at this time, I was just pressing pause on my camera. Like, I didn't know how to edit. So, I would, as my, as my camera is rolling, I just hit pause and play. And this video actually. Like the second one ended just before you know, my camera had a time limit. It had only let me film so much before it would like say you need to start over, like on a clip. And uh, I think it's right around 30 minutes and it shut, it cut off. And like there, I didn't film one building because I didn't know how to put them together. Man, how times have changed. I mean, heck, I know I'm not that good at filming now, but I know I've improved a lot from here. Crap shot. It's hard to watch, really. What you see is we're about to walk out into the gymnasium floor. See, I don't even know what, you know, going by, I don't even know what was in that room. I can't even tell. That kills me. Here we are on the gym floor. Really sucks as none of this is there. It'd been cool if they could have saved the gymnasium. I just love that old architecture. It's so neat. Look at that. The A-frame gym. There's the old. This it reminds you know this reminds me of the movie Hoosiers right here. Their gym. Oh Hickory, I think was the name of the school. But it, it's very reminiscent of that old school high school gym look. I mean, this was a college too, but it was a small town college. And, uh, yeah, as I'm walking over, there it is. There's there's a couple posters with, I think, uh, Probably the last yeah, a couple of last. It's in 1992-93. The school did close in 94. Team. According to Google. That was a long time ago. That's the 92-93 basketball team. Still Look at them guys. I like to look back and see what how they did. Like how good of a team were they, especially the last couple of years. I mean, you imagine as you know, if the school's about to. Oh yeah, there's a hole in the floor there. Come to find out, everybody said there's a pool underneath that floor. I don't know if there is or not, but that would have been terrifying to fall through that. There's a ninety-one, ninety-two team there. But yeah, look at that. I mean, this is such a cool architecture and design in there i loved it i wish they could have saved the gym at least it would have been really it would have been and it looks salvageable to me like it needs some tlc but i mean it looked like it had good bones not really many leaks or anything in the roof i mean heck a new roof and some paint and rewire the place and it's pretty much ready to go Yeah, I like that shot. I like the columns in front. That's very old school. That reminds me of like an old uh, horse racing track. Underneath the stairs. I don't know what I'm trying to look at there. It's, the camera does not pick up that good. One little tidbit about but it was my first actual real camera, which I was proud of. It was what I needed at the time. But yeah, we're almost done with the part one version. We're going to continue and just do this whole thing in one whack. So, I mean, this is 30 minutes. I'm trying to I'm trying to talk here, so I apologize for um, rambling on. But I, I'm doing this in one take just to see how it goes. I feel like 
if I try to script these and, and write it out and and make it really fancy, then I'll just I'll sound really stupid. So I'll just sound half stupid and just wing it. <laughs> if that makes sense. But yeah, this will be you'll see the to be continued as I zoom in. No, it didn't do that. Here's part two. This is quite a large campus. It's a This is where we got a little stupid. That's the main building. I think in 2000, um, the couple years before this video, someone set this building on fire. Some idiot kid. And this was it was a magnificent building. I mean, it was, I think, the original main building burnt down, and they built this in, like, 1898, somewhere along them lines. And it was a really impressive building. Had a lot going for it, and then someone just sets it on fire. And you can just, I mean, from what I understand, it had a really beautiful architecture inside. And like a really nice staircase and stuff. Really, really cool place to see, but it, it's gone now. You know, if it wasn't for people setting stuff on fire, this building probably could have been used for like the city building. You know, something important, you know, because the city did buy the property. Um, or even like some kind of recreational youth center, or something, you know, something. I mean, they could have really done a lot, but apparently the owners that own the property just sat on it and didn't want to keep any of this up, so they kind of let it fall to disrepair. And, you know, essentially caused the place to, to go away, and it could have been prevented. But this is us ascending stairs in a completely burnt down, very unstructurally unstable building. And we're going up, this is, we're going up to the third story now. And basically just a staircase that's left standing and nothing around it. This was not very smart. I, I really must say, I don't know why we did this. But yeah, this is supposed to walk out into a floor. And as you see, none of it's there anymore. And this thing's freestanding, and we're going up to the top of it. I think we were at the top there. All right, now we're heading over to the dorm buildings. These were awesome. Not going to be able to see really super good, but um, I think it's enjoyable. And again, like I said, if you haven't seen the original versions, I, I encourage you to go to my main channel and check them out. Oh, yeah, this is the Wallace building. And of course, the links are down below. I think that's a, yeah, that's the Wallace building there. You see, it's very, it's a dormitory inside. I mean, it's really, I just think it's neat. You know, you just imagine what life was like back in the day when this was full of students, just, you know, eager to get, start with their lives, have an opportunity. And, you know, they partied in here. They, did stuff they weren't supposed to, made friendships, got in fights. I mean, there's so much stuff happened in this building. And uh, like I said, it's been a fly on the wall and seen, you know, what all went on and uh, what all they did. But, uh, you know, it's sad we come in and we see this shell of a building, you know. <laughs> I forgot about that. It's like, no, no, that ain't where it goes. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it's really neat to get to walk through these and explore them. Um, much cooler, I think, architecturally than Knoxville College was even. Uh, Knoxville College is just so vast and, and grand. So it's just huge. But a lot of the buildings are, you know, early to mid-century, not, you know. Like these buildings here were built in the late 18 to early 1900s. A lot of the buildings in Knoxville College was built in, you know, 20s to 50s, you know, and maybe even some 60s, 1960s. But, uh, but yeah, you just, you get that super old school vibe in here, you know. Like this building's definitely been here more than 100 years. But, uh, but yeah, we can't even see anything. That's, that just, that's just crazy. And I don't, I can't remember how many floors we explore, but uh, 
you can see what they've done here if you yeah you look up and it's missing the next two stories and there is actually someone that somehow got permission i don't know by what means and how but they acquired the rights to remove a lot of the wood from this building because this building was built in i think it's 19 or 1896 maybe and they wanted to reclaim all this wood, so I know at least one area in Knoxville, it's a, it's a bar. And I think I was explaining it to Jacob just then. Um, actually, a company I worked for at the time was doing a job there, and uh, the owner of the place said, yeah, all this wood you see was reclaimed from Morristown College, from the dorm buildings. So you can see where, you know, it's just... It's missing the top two floors, essentially, or probably the next floor. Yeah, it's missing the third level, not... I don't think these are four-story. But yeah, like all the third levels just gone, gutted on the inside. And you, you look up, and you see, and you know, all the rafters look good, sturdy. It's a shame they couldn't have saved these buildings. It really is. I, I'd uh, I don't know. When, when the property was first acquired privately... They could have really, now, I don't know much about who owned it. I don't know if it was an investment company or or what, but uh, they really neglected the place. They really did not have any interest in keeping it up. Um, obviously, they let people come in and gut some of the buildings and uh, just did not put any effort in keeping it up. Now, this was a cool spot. And when they first tore everything down, they left these here, these little breezeways. And I thought, oh, that's so cool. They're going to implement these into the park. And then they tore them down. Uh, it was really sad. And that building in the middle, of course, is the original uh, chow hall, I call it, but where you eat lunch and dinner and all that. Um, that was originally built. First building. Oh, it wasn't the first building, but it was only the original building left. But it's just a shell of it. But then we go into the next set of dormitories. And uh, I always hated that I did not go down the basement. That one bothered me. I think I went down on the other end briefly. This one still has the red carpet. But man, that basement looked creepy. And if I was there today, I would be down there doing some paranormal stuff. I remember being really sketched out on these floors because they were wooden floors. It was not concrete. These were all wood. But... You know, everything seemed to be still sturdy, so. Uh, I was almost 500 pounds, too, so, I mean, I still worry about floors a lot. I really worried about them back then. But uh, here we go down a dark corridor that you can't see crap because I didn't have money. But uh, you soon get to see. That's creepy. Just looking down those set side hall. I not go down that side hall? Oh, man. Okay, I'll give myself a few minutes. Guys, you gotta, I haven't been watching this video in forever. And I'm... That, yeah, I was on the dark staircase. I thought, I thought... You can get up here and kind of look above and see. Honestly, could have walked out of there, but that looked dangerous, so... I'd say not. I elected not to. <laughs> This is the second floor. Yeah, okay, here's where we go down. And Okay, it was just like one room down in the basement. It wasn't. But it did kind of have show some signs of maybe a squatter there. I don't know. I mean, they it, a lot of the homeless people in the area would stay in these buildings, which I don't blame them. They're, they'd be great to get away. Now, this is my favorite structure on the whole property. They called it... Um, the Jersey house that had like a New Jersey architecture, I guess, but, um, really cool house. And this is where Jacob about gave me a heart attack, which I will, you'll see here shortly. Why? I don't know if you can see it very clearly in this video, but he does some danger. He does something dangerous. It, it really scared me. And this is, this was a cool old house. I mean, it was, of course, a dormitory. I don't know if it was a male or female dorm or not. I have no idea. But uh, 
it had been a cool house to be in back in the day. It had been a cool place to have a hang out and have a party. I mean, it was pretty neat. But you see most of anything it has been gutted out. And uh, Jacob, Jacob's all over the place there. He's excited. Eventually, we go upstairs to... I think there's two more levels above us we go to. And then we go into the basement last. Yep, here we go with this dark stairway. You can't really tell, but... Eventually, I do get good lighting. And if you're watching this for the first time, guys, keep him mind. I have much better lighting now. And better camera equipment. And I'm not as jerky. I am a lot better now, I promise. Yeah, I didn't want to walk in there. I saw the big hole in the roof. And the floor was rotting away. Yeah, I know I was getting nervous up here. I always get nervous when I get in upper levels of abandoned places like this. Because it's just, ugh, really weirds me out. I can't remember if I tried to squeeze through that or not. And we're going up again. Nope. I'm going up more stairs. I thought I remembered like getting almost getting stuck in it. Yeah, you see how slow I'm going. Up? This is the third floor. This is where, this is where I really start getting nervous because first thing I see is missing floor. I'm just like, oh geez, oh there's more missing floor. Like, hey, rotted floors everywhere. I am gonna die today. <laughs> That's the only thing I could think. That was definitely the first time I was ever in a dangerous structure. And uh, Jacob's just walking around like he don't even realize the floors are very unsafe. I mean, these floors were so dangerous. And I hope we see this. He walks right up to like, yeah, that. Okay, you see that big old hole and it's all rotten all the way around it. So watch good old trusting carpetbagger here. Just la da 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 da. Let's walk right over here. Oh, dude! Like I'm just dying inside watching him do that. I had to. I had to pause it and tell him to stop. That was so dangerous. What he did. Uh, he just walks right up next to that big old hole on this rotted floor. That's like, its floor joists are not attached there anymore. They're just kind of free hanging. <laughs> oh my gosh, that one got me big time. I don't know what I was doing here. I keep looking back and forth. Like I said earlier, I just hadn't got used to like seeing things through the camera yet. So like a lot of times the camera's like cocked sideways and I'm looking around, but it's just holding in one direction. Oh yeah, look at the rotten floor under all that. Yeah, yeah, freaking design there. That's cool. I think this house was built 1898, I think it said. I'm trying, and this is all memory from over two years ago, like almost three years ago, honestly. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to fight back some memories here. Oh yeah, I got in here, and, and I was, I was still thinking of cellar crickets because we saw some earlier, and I said, you know, we should watch out for cellar snakes. And I said cellar snakes, and then Jacob started laughing, and I just started shaking my own head, like, wow, I'm an idiot. That was crazy. But, uh, Maybe. but yeah, it's, this was a fun one, man. I mean, I really was, uh, it was a long one. This is kind of long to try to narrate because 30 minutes is a long time to talk <laughs> about something because I can sum it up in a minute or two, but, but anyways, guys, this has been good. Um, don't forget, um, if you want to see bonus footage from my videos, when I set static cameras and, and, you know, you know, deleted scenes, stuff like that. Uh, make sure you check out my Patreon. Um, you can join for as little as a dollar a month and uh, get access to bonus footage and, and you know, lens clips from the home, stuff like that. Um, a lot of cool stuff goes on there. Also, um, you know, check out Spreadshirt. I'm going to be putting some new, sh new merch out soon. And don't forget my Etsy shop. I got the toilet spray, and I'm going to actually be putting a lot of merch into the Etsy shop, guys, so please get over there. And I really hate I didn't get down. This building was much bigger than it looks here. I really wish I got in there and explored that. But anyways, guys, don't forget, check out the Etsy shop. Get your bottle of toilet spray. Go get you 
some stickers eventually. And uh, this is where I end the video. But, uh, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and like. And let me know in the comments down below what you think about these. Um, usually, you know, if it's 10, 15 minute video, I can pack more stuff, more talking. But this was a little tougher, you know, trying to spread out over 30 minutes of video. But anyways, guys, I thank you. I hope you have a good day.